Hey, welcome back to 2DG. Two. Uh, we got another beer review. Yes, we do. What do we got? Today we have the Brown Note from Against the Grain out of Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. So, let's go ahead and crack it open and talk about it. Right. Brown Note's got a real interesting label. You probably need to get a peek at that. Put a little angle on that. There you go. Uh, you can see this person is experiencing the Brown Note. So, uh... We all know what the brown note is now. Uh, this beer, I don't know. I've never had it. This will be my first time. Um, it's really light. Yeah, and I think that's, I've kind of seen some other stuff about it where it's, you know, okay. <laughs> so, uh, um, it is an American brown ale style. So with that being said, you do expect there to be somewhat of a hop profile. Think so? Yeah, that's generally put that up characterized. There, so you enjoy that brown note. Okay, so uh, okay, let's get a color on this. What you're looking at is almost more of an amber than a color. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's kind of almost like whiskey. Uh, it is the color. <laughs> it's a beautiful color. So yeah, head sticking around nicely, about a half finger, quarter on finger. yours. Yeah, it's kind of off white. Yeah, it looks like a like a carbonation bubble more mm -hmm. than a. You know what I mean? I guess uh, like in a soda where it's looser and a lot of tiny bubbles, I guess. Yeah. Alright, let's give it a smell. It's got a great smell. Yeah, it's got, um, you get the, the, the classic kind of nutty flavor, or nutty uh, smell. You also get like a caramel yeah. uh, type toffee sweetness in there. Um, no real hot profile, maybe a little earthy, but... Yeah, it's got the smell that I love in brown ales, that kind of nuttiness that you get. There's almost a, a fruitiness too, though. Well, that's what I get. Yeah, I'm not getting that. But, uh... Oh, man. That toffee, though, mm -hmm. and roastiness. It's really... It smells good. It smells good. I like the smell yeah. of this. <laughs> so, uh, let's get a taste on this. Let's taste it. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Um, it's not terrible, though. It follows suit with the nose almost perfectly. You do get a lot of the nuttiness towards more of the uh, middle to back. It's almost a roast, though. Yeah, you do get a nice... Smoke almost. Yeah, a nice kind of bitter roasted malt um, punch up front. Uh, and you do get that sweetness, the toffee caramel sweetness that kind of runs through with it. My only problem is it's watery. And I thought it was going to be like yeah. that from the color, sure. which is disappointing. That is a thin beer. Yeah, and but I wouldn't say it's watery in the sense like uh, we just did on a trash talk. No, it, <laughs> no, no. This is a. It's just a thin beer, yeah, which I didn't expect because normally brown ales, and you can't use thicker as a as a term necessarily, but they're more full bodied. Um, generally, they're a, a like a fall winter beer, so they're I don't know more robust, I guess. But well, I like the roastiness. It's almost a Man, it's almost a toasted nut. Comes back at you. Okay. Okay. Um, so what are we going to rate? Let's do it. Yeah, rate beer uh, for style, American Brown Ale. They gave it a 95, and for overall, dropped it down to an 88. But still one of the higher rated against the grain beers that we've seen or tasted sure, ourselves. Sure. So, that being said, American Brown Ale, stop. To be honest, I'm going to give it an 8.5. I love the nose and the flavor I actually enjoy. Even the thinness actually works for me in this beer. It goes down quick. That flavor doesn't have time to, you know, fit, fizzle out too quick. And then you go, oh, <laughs> it works. Um, okay. Yeah, the alcohol is 5%. So really? This is, this is Budweiser level alcohol. I would actually have guessed it to be a little higher than yeah, that. Yeah, I would have said probably bitterness. six, six and a half. But anyway, 5% style, 8 I actually don't like the wateriness to it. I understand now, given the color and the low alcohol, there's probably not a ton of malt in here. Um, the the nutty, almost chocolatey type flavor you get, they don't use adjuncts or anything. It, it, it's all malt combinations, and it's. I mean, it it, it takes Is a lot. This of, one, yeah, sure. yeah. Um, it takes a lot of combinate or a lot of skill to do that. I've tried to make a brown ale myself, and it was a disaster. Um, 
Yeah, that being said though, the flavor and the nose really save it because I, I really do hate the fact that it's watery like this. <laughs> I find that interesting. <laughs> um, it is sessionable though, it is yeah. sessionable, which is weird for a brown, like I, I said. I just find it real drinkable and having... Uh, this day, we happen to be doing this just after I got off work, and I find it to be a good right after work beer. Light, thin, mm -hmm. goes to hit you. I like it. We're going to do overall now? Yeah, let's go ahead and move into the overall. All right, overall, I'll give it an 8 because I do find it palatable. I do find it enjoyable. And uh, I can actually see grabbing this. It, it is light enough and just easy enough that if I'm not in the mood, you know, if I just want a refreshing beer Flavorful. after work. I'll, uh, I'll drink this again. I don't have a problem with the yeah. brown note. Like I said, it, it is on uh, Budweiser level for alcohol, um, but just tremendously more flavor in there. Really like um, the roast. Yeah, as I say, for me it's a little watery. I'll, I'll actually stick with an 8 as well, mainly because it is sessionable and it does have a good nose and good flavor. Um, I don't, yeah, I said, I don't like the watery effect. I mean, I get it. It's, it's, it's light bodied and it's crisp and it's something that you can drink a couple of and be sure. just fine. Well, I don't know about a couple of these. Well, yeah, no, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they, they do release it in 16 ounce cans, so. Hmm. And they're actually starting to get more product of theirs up here, so better yeah. distribution happening for them, too. Well, keep holding out hope that eight Against the Grain starts bottling, and it works. Bottle or can that uh, little hop of horror. Sorry, I know I say it a lot, but that was a fantastic beer. Uh, but overall, we're giving this one a pretty good rating. Uh, so I'd say for what it is, you got to check it out. I think it's worth the money. I don't know what, I don't even remember what we paid for this. Do you? So hey, we rated it fairly well. Go ahead and smash that like button. Give us a rating, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. If you're really bored, follow our Twitter because we tweet out some things give you a little heads up on what's coming up. Or we tweet it out and let you know what we just posted. And to our subscribers already, thanks for helping us grow. We appreciate it. Hey, <laughs> 2DG. Out. See ya. Now you made me make a mess. <laughs> what? Just. <laughs> He's got brown note everywhere. <laughs> 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 He brown noted all over the table. <laughs> Almost got it on the tablet. <laughs> well, I don't care about the tablet. It's a piece of crap. Uh, what is it? Motorola? Yeah, it's uh, an Android, an Android oh. tablet. Hello. So it's, to be honest, I don't like tablets in general. Yeah. I have an iPad that I carried around my bag to and from work for weeks and weeks and forgot it was in. I just don't use it. <laughs> Hate it.